And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, it's been an ordeal all morning long. That freezing rain chance throughout the entire viewing area. That initial blast moving off to the east of us. But you can see more of that freezing rain lining up to the west, and that's all moving eastward. We're likely to expect chances for freezing rainfall throughout much of the morning ahead. Let's freeze this map. You can see that freezing rain right over Tippecanoe County right now. I just stepped out the door a moment ago here at the studio, and it's already like an ice rink out there. Plenty of reports of slide offs, accidents on those roadways. Please, if you don't don't have to be on the roads this morning. Don't be. Stay at home. Stay safe. If you have to be on those roads, use extra caution. Give yourself an ample amount of time to get to wherever you are headed this morning. A freezing rainfall advisory for the southern half of the viewing area lasting through our lunch hour. The northern half of the region under a winter weather advisory through 1 p.m. Eastern time. Here's what we're expecting. Anywhere between a tenth of an inch to 15 one hundredths of an inch of ice from the freezing rain alone. The dangerously slick roadways out there. Once again, I cannot stress enough. Please remember to travel safely. So here's the situation. What we're actually having is a warm front move right across the viewing area from the southwest to the northeast. Now, warmer air is less dense than colder air, so it goes up and over that cooler air mass, which is here at the surface with temperatures of 27 at Rossville, 26 at Kokomo, and 27 in Rensselaer. Once that warmer air goes up and over the cooler air mass, it actually generates rainfall. That rain begins to come down to the surface, and as it makes contact with that surface, it freezes on contact, and that is why we're seeing that freezing rain this morning and that glossy image from our 720 camera. You can see the roadways glistening with the stoplight right there. You can see how slow cars are moving out there because that is how slow you have to be traveling if you want to be traveling safely this morning. 28 degrees currently. Winds are from the southeast, 7 miles per hour. Temperatures are technically on the rise, about a degree over the last hour. Those southerly winds will help boost temperatures all the way back up into the mid to upper 30s, possibly even low 40s later on today. And that brings yet another problem to the forecast going ahead. Here's our freezing rain, 30 degrees by 9 a.m. That comes to an end by our lunch hour. 34 degrees after that. We'll have 39 degrees by 5 p.m. Melting not only the ice from this morning, but a lot of that snowfall that we received throughout much of the weekend, meaning localized flooding, puddling and standing water on roadways, a possibility as well over the next 24 hours, especially this afternoon and evening, and then re-solidifying back into the ice as temperatures dip back down below freezing 20 degrees. Your overnight low temperature, that mixture departs during the overnight hours, becoming icy once again with northwesterly winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those northerly winds only allow us to warm up to 23 degrees tomorrow. A nice bitter cold uh, day tomorrow headed our way after overnight low temperatures dip back down below. That freezing mark once again, three degrees, your overnight low Wednesday night. Thursday looks like the coldest day of the week as we only reach a high temperature of 15 that afternoon. We'll fall off to negative one Thursday night into Friday morning. Then, Alex, things begin to get a little bit better each and every day. It's getting a little bit better. 26 degrees, your high temperature on Friday, mostly sunny skies, hitting 35 on Saturday, even 36 on Sunday. We wrap up that precision seven day forecast with a high temperature of 39 degrees on Monday with mostly sunny skies. But nonetheless, the next 36 hours, a uh, very, very uh, a lot going on here. A very active next 36 hours, to say the least, with the freezing rainfall this morning, the rain this afternoon, a lot of accidents out there already being reported. So if you are headed out the door this morning, again, use extra caution on those roads. Yeah, and that's exactly why Chris is not here anymore. She anymore. She ran out to go get a look yeah. at the roads for us this morning because all that ice that's on right now. Cameron, we appreciate it. Thanks very Thanks. much. Straight